everyone, it's Ashley and today I'm finally bringing you my December book haul. This is an exciting book haul for many reasons. One, I have 18 things to show you guys in this book haul so it's bound to be a really long book haul. Maybe grab like a snack or a drink or something because you're likely going to be here for a while. Two, I have no arcs to show you guys in this video. Every single book or bookish item that I have to show you in this video is something that I either got as a present for Christmas or bought myself for Christmas. Okay, so without further ado, let's get started. Before I show you the first books that I'm going to show you in this video, I wanted to let you know that I'm not actually going to reread the backs of any of these books before explaining them to you in this video. I'm just going to let you know the main reason why I wanted to buy them. Because a lot of the time I buy a book because someone told me something about it or because I know the general concept or I know the author, but I don't really like to go into books having read the synopsis because I find a lot of times it actually spoils part of the plot for me and I really don't like that uh, so I'm going to just like generally explain the book so if the explanations aren't that great I apologize I will leave Goodreads links for every single book I talk about in this video in the description box down below. I'm gonna start with all of the young adult books that I got in the month of December, the first of which is Still Life with Tornado by A.S. King. I went into this book, I've actually already read this, I read it was my first like novel read of 2016. I went into this knowing pretty much nothing. I actually read an excerpt from the first chapter, I never read the synopsis. However, if you guys don't know this about me, I'd be surprised. But A.S. King is one of my all-time favorite authors. She's pretty much an auto-buy author for me, and there's only a few books by her that I haven't read yet, this being one of them. This is also her newest novel. So I picked this one up right away. I really, really liked it. I gave it four out of five stars when I read it, which I will talk about more in a wrap up of some kind later this month but I really really liked it I didn't know much about it and you know how I was saying I don't really read synopsis because I'm worried that they'll spoil the book for me so I was 60 pages into this book and a co-worker asked me what it was about and I couldn't really tell her what it was about because it's just A.S. King's novels are just so well written it's not even that they're really about things it's more that they like conceptualize things and she's just really good at writing. So I decided to read my coworker the synopsis on the inside of the dust jacket and it actually kind of spoiled something that I hadn't even hit yet in the book and I was 60 pages in and I was like this. This is why I don't read the synopsis of books before I read them anymore. Next I have another A.S. King novel and that is I Crawl Through It. I don't know much about this. I know that it involves like the idea of exploding and it follows four teenagers. I don't know much more than that. I'm really hoping that it's like quad narrated, like it's like all four teenagers get their own narrative style throughout the book. A.S. King's actually really, really good at having really cool narrative styles in all of her books. Like sometimes inanimate objects have chapters and just, ah, I just love her so much. If you haven't read A.S. King's novels before, I would highly, highly, highly recommend them. Next, I got The Female of the Species by Mindy McGinnis. This has been getting rave reviews by a lot of people that I really, really trust in the blogging community, and I don't know much about it, but I do know that it follows a main character whose older sister passed away a few years before the book starts, and the killer walks free, and basically the main character is having a real hard time coping with that. I also just really love this cover. It has like all the names of the females of that specific species and the quote on the back says, the female of the species is more deadly than the male. And I just feel like it's going to be like a really quirky, fun read. I have really high hopes for it. Next, I got the 50th anniversary edition of The Outsiders. For those of you who don't know, The Outsiders is one of my favorite books of all time. It was one of the first books aside from Harry Potter that actually turned me into a reader. There has been a lot of drama going around online recently with Essie Hinton and I'm trying really hard to separate this specific novel from Essie Hinton because I don't think that I could ever learn to dislike this book and part of me almost wants to now but like I just this book really just holds like this ridiculously special place in my heart. So, yeah. And last but not least, I finally got a young adult novel that I have been eyeing for over a year and somehow just never found and picked up, and that is We Are the Ants by Sean David Hutchinson. I have wanted this book for so long. It looks so good. It's basically about this young boy, or again, I don't know much about it, so this could be like a pretty terrible description, but this is what I think it's about going into it. It's about this young boy who was abducted by aliens when he was younger and basically now they've given him this giant red button that will save the world but the main character doesn't know whether or not the world is worth saving and I just 
It looks so good. I'm so excited about it. I probably will be picking this up in the very, very near future. Ooh, I didn't see this before I picked the book up to buy it, but I saw it recently. Lala from Books and Lala, who is amazing. If you aren't following her, you should be. I will leave her channel link down below for you guys. This was her favorite book of 2016, which speaks very highly because she reads a lot. So this basically went to the top of my TBR list once I watched her video. Okay, so those are the five young adult novels that I got in the month of December. Now I'm going to move on to the sci-fi fantasy books that I got in the month of December. I got a total of six sci-fi fantasy novels in the month of December. The first of which being Wake of Vultures by Lila Bowen. I really don't know anything about this book. I love the cover a lot, but it was blurbed by Patrick Rothfuss and that pretty much sold me. And then I realized that it was a female author in the sci-fi fantasy section with a female main character in the sci-fi fantasy section, which is a rarity to find, unfortunately. So I picked it up basically just knowing those three things. So I will be sure to get back to you once I know more about it, but I actually kind of like the idea of going into it a little bit blind. Next, I finally picked up A Long Way to a Small Angry Planet by Becky Chambers. This book is highly recommended by so many people. I know a few people in real life, like friends of mine in real life, who read it who didn't really love it, but Riley from Riley Marie loved this book. And Victoria Schwab told me about this book when I interviewed her earlier this year, last year, it's a new year, last year. And she said that it was like one of her favorite reads of 2016. So basically I realized I had to pick it up. And also it is a female author in the sci-fi fantasy section. This is like my new thing. I will pick up female authors in the sci-fi fantasy section simply because they are female authors and I want more female representation in that section so bad. But basically all I know about this book is that it takes place in space. That's pretty much all I know. Next we have The Library at Mount Char by Scott Hawkins. This book comes ridiculously highly recommended by one of my best friends, Kendra, and apparently it's kind of like a magical realism-ish sci-fi fantasy, and I love magical realism, and it's so rarely done and even rarer to find a really, really good magical realism. So I'm really, really excited about this one. Also, the cover is just amazing. It's like, torn pages of a book and I just just it's just so good. I'm so excited about reading this book and the last three sci-fi fantasy books that I have to show you guys in this haul are all from the same series and that is the first second and third books in the Expanse series by James S.A. Corey. Again this series comes highly recommended by so many people including but not limited to my best friend Kendra um, and also this the television series is already out and I really really want to watch it but I don't want to watch it until I read the books and it's been a really long time since I've read a really good sci-fi that I've loved. I've read a lot of fantasies recently that I've loved but it's a rarer occurrence for me personally to find a sci-fi I love but I've heard nothing but good things about this so I'm really excited about diving into it and the box set was cheaper than buying all three separately so I decided to buy the box set of all three of them because I feel like I'm going to love it and want to just like dive right into it. As for this series I don't know too too much about it except for that it's supposed to be kind of like an epic space opera which sounds amazing. Okay so those are the six sci-fi fantasy books that I got in the month of December and now we can move on to the fiction and poetry books that I got. I got a total of one poetry book in the month of December. I don't generally buy a lot of poetry books, although I think that might be changing this year, to be honest with you. But I did decide to finally cave and buy Milk and Honey by Rupi Kaur. Kaur? I don't know how to say her last name properly, and that makes me feel like a terrible person. One, Rupi is a Canadian author, and this year I'm trying actively to read more Canadian authors. And also, I've heard nothing but good things about this. And since buying it, I've actually read it. This was actually my first read of 2016. I read it in a sitting the other day and I loved it. It was so good. I'm really, really excited about diving into the poetry section this year and just reading more poetry than ever before. I used to read a lot of poetry in high school, but I haven't read a lot since high school. So I'm really excited about diving back into that. And I really liked this one. And I'm glad that I went into it not knowing too, too much about it, aside from the fact that it's separated into four different sections. After that, I got four other books from the fiction section. The first one was technically a fiction book, but I almost feel like it could be categorized as sci-fi fantasy. And that is Dark Matter by Blake Crouch. This book gets nothing but rave reviews pretty much everywhere. Also, the cover. The cover just like 
the text covers publishers please just more text covers they're just so good they're just so good they're plain but amazing and just it's just so well done this is another book that my coworker and best friend Kendra absolutely loved and told me I had to read I read the first chapter while I was at the bookstore like deciding what to purchase and fell in love with the way it was written and I had to pick it up as far as I know it's about a man who's living a pretty like stereotypical boring life he has a wife and a son whom he loves but he's just kind of in a bit of a like rut like he doesn't really know how to love his life and basically he gets switched with a version of himself from an alternate reality and now he's trying to get back to his life and I just think that sounds so freaking cool I'm really excited about this. I want to pick it up as soon as possible. Next, I finally picked up a book that I've been eyeing for years, and that is Alias Hook by, who wrote this? Lisa Jensen. One, this cover is one of the most gorgeous covers that I've seen in a very long time. Also, this is a Peter Pan retelling from the perspective of Hook, but Hook isn't really a bad guy. And I just, oh, I'm just so excited. I'm just really, really excited about this book. If you guys don't know this about me, Peter Pan is actually one of my favorite classic stories of all time. I love the concept of it. I love pretty much any kind of retelling that people do about it. Even if it's cheesy and corny and maybe even terrible, I still just love the idea of it. Like, I even liked the movie Pan. It wasn't the greatest, but I didn't hate it because it was a Peter Pan retelling and I just love Peter Pan retellings. So I'm really, really excited to dive into this. I don't normally like retellings where Hook is the good guy and Peter's the bad guy, but I have high hopes for this and I think that like it's promising and maybe it will be great. The next two fiction books I have to show for you guys are both literary fiction books because I am trying to read more literary fiction in 2017. The first of which I picked up because I saw the trailer for the movie and I became instantly hooked with the idea and was really happy to find out that it was actually a novel and that is The History of Love by Nicole Krauss. This book again gets really 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 good reviews in the literary community and it's also very short but as far as I can tell it's kind of just about how love shapes your life and how just ah it just looks so good. I will leave the trailer for the movie linked down below for you guys because that's all I needed to be hooked to the idea of this book and I don't really want to read more about it because I think the trailer did a really good job of just kind of like encompassing the idea of the novel. So I will leave that link down below for you guys. And last but not least, I finally purchased a fiction book that I have been eyeing for months and that is Fates and Furies by Lauren Groff. This book is probably one of my favorite covers of 2016. It's so pretty. Again, the text covers. Just, I just want more plain text covers. They're just so pretty. This book basically takes the idea that a story has two different sides to it and kind of flips it on its head. And as far as I know, you read it, it's about a relationship between two people and it's kind of about perspective versus reality and I'm really excited about it. This is another book where I read the first chapter before I bought it and I just loved the author's writing style so I'm really really excited about picking this one up. If you've read this book comment down below and let me know what you thought about it. Again please no spoilers. Okay so those are the five fiction slash poetry books that I bought in the month of December and last but not least I have one graphic novel and one bookish item that I'm really excited about to show for you guys. The one and only graphic novel that I got in the month of December is Sweet Tooth Volume 1 by Jeff Lemire. Dana from the Book Hoarder, I will leave her channel linked down below for you guys, she is one of my favorite booktubers and honestly favorite YouTubers, loves this graphic novel series so I had to pick it up and try it because I really trust her judgment and we tend to like a lot of the same things. And I'm really excited about it because Jeff Lemire is also Canadian, so this also accomplishes my Read More Canadian Authors goal for 2017, so it's like a win-win. As far as I know, this graphic novel series follows a world where kids are being born part animal and part human, and then they just die, and no one really knows why, and it follows a main character who is one of those kids. At least that's what I believe it's about. Again, not really looking much into it. And last but not least, I have something really exciting to show for you guys. I haven't even opened it yet because I wanted to open it on camera for you guys. And that is one of the limited edition Spider-Man moleskins. I'm just, oh, I'm so excited. I didn't think I was going to be able to obtain one of these because it cost so much money to order it from moleskin.com and have it shipped to Canada. And then I was in a chapters and they just had one. And it was just like, a dream. I was so excited. So I picked it up 
and I'm really excited and I'm gonna open it now because I haven't opened it since buying it for myself in December because I wanted to open it with you guys. To be honest, it took a lot of willpower not to buy more than one of these when I saw them. Oh, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. I like that it has like this like case that I can keep it in forever. Okay, are you ready? Mm, I'm like kind of scared. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Guys, it's so pretty. Oh my god. Okay, so this is what it looks like inside the box. Oh, I don't know if I'm ever even gonna be able to use it because I just like, I just, oh, it's just so pretty. Okay, let's take it out of this box. Oh my goodness. So... Spider-Man kind of wraps around the notebook, which I think is really, really cool. Also, it's like pretty plain, but not too plain. It's like shiny, but there isn't too, too much going on. Oh my God. And then Spider-Man's face is in the inside cover of the moleskin as well. I'm so excited. And it is apparently number 4,842 of 5,000. Excitement. I'm so excited. Oh my goodness. I wonder if there's more at the back. Oh, it's the rest of Spider-Man's body. I just... Mm. I'm really, 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 really happy with this Christmas present. Really, really happy. Okay, so those are all of the books and bookish goodies that I got in the month of December. Most of the books behind you guys were actually Christmas presents from my mom and dad for Christmas. They normally just send me money to buy books and let me go out and go book shopping because they know that going book shopping in and of itself is kind of like a present for me. And I bought a few of them on my own with separate Christmas money that I got in the month of December but I'm so excited about all of the books I just showed you guys in this video. I now kind of just want to like sit down and read for the rest of the day because just filming this video has made me very excited about reading all of these books. Oh my gosh. Okay, so those are all of the books that I got in the month of December. If you guys want to read or have read any of these books, make sure to comment down below and let me know. And if you have a book haul that you guys did for December, whether it be on YouTube or on your blog, just comment down below with the link so that I can check it out. And otherwise, I will see you guys soon with another video. Happy reading. Bye! Hey everyone, it's Ashley and welcome to my 2017 goals slash resolutions video. Basically, I'm going to talk to you guys about like how my year in 2016 was and what I want to do in 2017 as a human. If you want to call those resolutions, by all means.